everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this very special live and free podcast where I am going to address the comments made about me by my good old friend, J-E-F-F-J-A-R-E-E-T. I spelled that wrong, bro, but I'm old. I am here with my co-host, bro, the man that makes things happen on Russo'sBrand.com, Patreon.com forward slash Russo TWC. Jeff Lane, what is going on? What's going on? And we're going to play some of the audio from Jeff Jarrett's My World with Jeff Jarrett video that they put on their YouTube. But if you want to see the full thing in its context, I do have a link to it in the description so you can check it out there and also appreciate you guys joining us live so if you do end up enjoying this stream we'd appreciate it if you hit that like and help us reach more people you know jeff i i i want to say man i just did a uh, i did a special podcast with john Paz. okay and i i i i've got to see this bro because i i don't know if it's me or just everybody else is ignorant. Okay, Jeff? Because, I, bro, Jeff, listen, you you know me. You, you and I talk on a weekly basis. I would like to think, Jeff, that at this point in my life, I'm, I'm, I try to mind my own business. Okay, bro? Russo'sBrand.com is my livelihood, and it's how I make a living. That on our Patreon page. So, you know, I'm turning 62, bro. I'm not ready to retire yet. I need to do this for a couple of more years to make a living. So, Jeff, every day I go to work down in my basement, okay, in my office, and I sit here and I mind my own business. I don't watch wrestling anymore. The only show I watch for the 90,000th time is uh, WWE Raw because Sports Kita pays me to watch Raw. When Sports Kita no longer pays me to watch Raw, I will watch no wrestling, Jeff. Jeff, I didn't watch the Vince McMahon documentary. I was in. I didn't want, I got no interest in any of this crap. I hate wrestling. I am not in that world. I am not in that bubble but yet bro i get all the time russo uh, bro russo's irrelevant and he's trying to stay relevant bro am i how could i be trying to stay relevant when i'm saying wrestling sucks and i hate wrestling i hate it bro i i'm 62 bro Uh, jeff i got up in the middle of the night last night for the third time to pee, all right? And Jeff, my my ball sack is hitting ice cold water, okay? And and, and I'm, I'm worried about being relevant. So I, I'm, I mind my own business. I do my own thing, bro. We, we got a community with Russo's brand. We got great co-hosts who are my friends. We, we got a great audience. I do my shows. I mind my own business. But yet I'm I'm doing this show with John Paz. Flair's cutting promos on me of, of how irrelevant I am. Kathy, what is it? Kathy Kelly, K- Kathy Kelly, the, the the backstage reporter at WWE is cutting promos on me. For what? J E double F J A double R E double T is cutting promos on me, bro. I'm tr- I'm trying to mind my own business. I am I'm I'm literally trying to stay irrelevant. But th- this is a shoot with Flair, with Jeff, with Conrad, with Catherine Kelly. I, I, I thank you guys for keeping me my name out there. 
You guys keep my name out there, bro. You're here now. People come here now. Oh, wait. What's this about Russo? What's this about Russo? Bro, Chris Jericho, they just contacted me to be a columnist. Bro, they're doing a bash at the beach thing. I'm going to be the star of On Vice. So I swear to God, I don't know if people want me to be hot over Jeff's comments, over Kathy Kelly. Uh, uh, bro, I thank you for, for helping Jeff and I build this brand. I am not going to be mad at anybody uh, that is going to give us exposure, Jeff. So li literally, I am not trying to stay relevant. For some reason... There's a lot of people trying to keep me relative. And thank you, bro. I, I truly appreciate that. All right, go ahead, Jeff. Well, that's one of their narratives, and they have these narratives in their mind. It's just like anytime you put something over, you're just trying to get a job. But then if you bury something, you're just bitter. So you can't win no matter no matter what you say. I do owe an apology to the <clears throat> Apparently, there are a lot of valets in the WWE that are pissed at me and also backstage reporters. But let me, let me make one thing perfectly clear. Backstage reporters and valets are not the same thing. And for this Kathy Kelly, oh my God, bro. I, I carried on. I've been carrying on since Monday about how stunning this woman looks beautiful woman, but apparently Jeff, I made the comment that why can't there be beautiful, vivacious, sexy valets in the WWE anymore? Because I watch raw. There are none on raw, Jeff, none, not one. Well, apparently there's 15 on SmackDown. So, so all, all these women at SmackDown got upset with me and I do owe you an apology because I was speaking specifically about Raw. That's the only show I watch. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't see your comments, but we did hear Jeff Jarrett's comments and I I want to say, by the way, Crypto Coffee is saying he doesn't care for Jeff Jarrett's rope work. I, I just wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> he needs to work on his rope. He needs to work on his rope work. <laughs> I, Jeff, I'm going to tell you something. And you asked me a lot of times. I This is the first time I'm hearing these comments. Because at my age, I don't listen. I, I'm not going to listen to something that's going to piss me off. So I, I knew Jeff's comments were just going to piss me off, bro. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Let me hear them for the first time with Jeff. You'll get my natural response, and I'll, I'll I'll address every single thing. Well, first, I'm going to play the clip that I believe this entire Jeff Jarrett video was based on. Hold on, Jeff. Hold on. We we, we got to set this up first, guys. On our Patreon. You could see that's, it right up there. Patreon.com forward slash Russo T Dubs. All right, Jeff. All right. Work what while I explain this, you could work on your rope work. <laughs> I do a series called Vince versus so and so. And I I I dive into relationships I had with people in the wrestling business, good and bad. You know, there, there was Vince versus Cornette. There was Vince versus Dixie. There was Vince versus Eric. There's been a bunch of Vince versus. And, bro, when I do these shows, I'm not burying who I versed. I'm really diving into the relationship, trying to figure out what really went wrong. What what could I have been responsible for? So the last one I did, which is up now, I, I, I think I got one more episode left, was Vince versus Jeff Jarrett. So 
Jeff took a clip of that show, put it up on YouTube, I think. And I think either either Con- Con- Conrad probably saw it and smartened up Jeff. Um, and that's where they that, that's what they're commenting on, right, Jeff? Yes, I'm gonna play that for anybody that didn't see it, but I believe that this is all that they would have heard. So I put this teaser up for the Jeff Jarrett versus Vince series, and this is uh this is what we put out there. But now, bro, as I look back, this is a wrestler working me. And I hate to say that, but when I look at the outcome of the relationship, I don't think this was sincere. I I honestly don't. And it's painful for me to say that because at the time I really considered Jeff a friend. I thought Jeff was a friend, but he was using me, bro. So that's what I believe. Okay, well, well now, 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 you you guys can hear that comment. I don't think I'm burying Jeff in in any way, shape, or form. I I, I am pissed off at myself because I really, honestly, truly believed we had a friendship, we had a brotherhood, and I I I learned the hard way. It was never that. So my my heat is with myself because I should have known better. My heat is not with Jeff. He's a wrestler. This is how wrestlers are. Maybe I wanted it to be more, and it wasn't. So this is a reflection, Jeff, back on myself. I'm not burying Jeff at all. So go ahead, Jeff. So I'm going to play. Hold on. I, and I Steve, Stevie Richards right now is saying, j- just right there, wrestling friends are the most fair-weathered ones, Vince. Bro, if anybody knows it, Stevie Richards. Stevie is a friend. Why is Stevie a friend, bro? Because I get text messages and pictures from Stevie every single day. Jeff, what could I possibly do for the career of Stevie Richards at this point? Nothing. Zero. And to this day, Stevie Richards texts me every single day. That is a real friend. Then you got the the other wrestler. We're we're great friends. We're great friends. What? 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 Oh, wait. Vince isn't head of creative anymore? What? What? Wait. Vince can't help me anymore? Oh, who? Who? Okay. What's his name? Brian Gerwartz? Hey, Brian. Brian, old buddy, old pal. Bro, listen, Stevie just said that's how it works. Go ahead, Jeff. I won't interrupt again. Yeah, and click on Stevie's name. He's got a YouTube channel, guys. So yeah, a lot of yeah, cool yeah, stuff yeah. On there. Stevie, Stevie, Stevie Richards Fitness, bro. Forget it. You guys want to get in shape in freaking 2020. That that's where you go, bro. So I got four clips here from the YouTube video that My World with Jeff Jarrett put out. As I said, the link is in our description. Go watch their entire video. I'm putting it over, get the full context, but I'm going to play four clips from it. And if you want to stop me at any point during these to say something, do so. But uh, here is the first clip where Conrad Thompson brings this up to Jeff Jarrett. Were you surprised to hear that Vince Russo says you worked him? Do we even want to give this guy a rub? Stop right there. Stop right there. You see see what I'm saying, bro? This is a – bro, let let me explain something to everybody. I went back to TNA when I didn't want to get back into wrestling because Jeff Jarrett's wife was dying. Jill Jarrett was a saint of a woman. A saint, bro. Bro, I have cards – from Jill Jarrett that I have kept to this day cards that I have kept to this day. So bro, I know Jill Jarrett. I I know Jill's dying and I know Jeff has three young daughters that he's got to take care of. So I go back to TNA after I left to help Jeff Jarrett. Jeff, I am in Nashville when Jill passes away, Jeff calls me in the middle of the night. Vince, you know, Jill, Jill passed. Bro, I, I literally 
got in my car in my freaking PJs and went to his house and was there moments after his wife passed away. Okay, I just want to paint a picture for everybody, the closeness of this relationship. Okay, bro, was there for the funeral. My, my family spent time with his family, been to his house several times with my whole family. Did you hear what he just said? Do we re- do we really want to give this guy credit? The right. The right. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Would, would Stevie Richards say that? Would Stevie Richards say that? That is my point. My whole point, Jeff, were you were never a friend. Because if you were ever a friend, those words would not come out of your mouth right off the bat. My God, Jeff, if my wife passed away and and you were there for me, do you think 20 years later I'd say, do you think we really want to give this this Jeff Lane the time? That's what I'm taught. He, he, bro, you don't have to play anything else. The guy just made my case. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So I want you to play that clip over and then play the rest of it. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure every Stevie Richards fitness video starts with, we're not going to give Vince Russo the rub because his rope work sucks. Yes, thank you. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Were you surprised to hear that Vince Russo says you worked him? <laughs> Do we even want to give this guy a rub? I, right. I, I, this, know, maybe. <laughs> well, let me, I'll just say this. No, it didn't surprise me a, at all. That's it, it's in Russo's DNA. Of course he's going to jump on the bandwagon. And I say that I'm trying to say that w- w- with diplomacy, but, but you know, uh, he says that I worked him. So wait, says uh, hold, the man. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa. What what bandwagon am I jumping on? I've been trying to figure that out. The only this is just speculation because I don't know. The only thing I can think of is because he's he's with AEW now. I, I don't know. So you want to get in on that? On, I, I don't on, know. On I, what? What 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 bandwagon am I jumping on? Yeah, I don't know. Like I I can't figure out what he's talking about. I I started a Vince versus series before Jeff was even employed with AEW. I I mean, Jeff, how how many of these have I done about seven or eight, seven or eight. And this was one of the, I mean, you started with Vince McMahon. You did Eric Bischoff, Bruce Richard, Dixie Carter, Hulk Hogan. Okay. Whatever. I, I I have no idea what bandwagon he's talking about, but go ahead, bro with diplomacy but but you know uh, he says that i worked him so says the man behind the paywall so hey folks i'm going to talk about a guy who's who's supposedly worked me but i'm going to tell you behind my paywall i just I, I chuckled stop, stop right there to no end stop, stop, that, stop that, right that there. was the end well and i got something to read you so okay well play play that again so people can hear yeah well um remember this because this is what i don't understand if you go to adfreeshows.com, which this show is on, it's a super Patreon page that brings all Conrad's podcasts under one roof, early and ad-free. So they have the shows out there free, but you can sign up for their Patreon and get them ad-free. But not only do subscribers get the regular shows, they also have access to bonus content you won't see or hear anywhere else. So like, don't, don't be hypocritical. They got shows... Everybody does shows that are exclusive to their Patreon. So this is no different than what they're doing or what anybody else is doing. It's just silly to to criticize for that well, reason. It's, it's also, listen, bro. I love Conrad Thompson. I guarantee you Conrad's in here right now. I know he is. Conrad, I love Conrad. Guys, I go listen to every one of Conrad's shows. Conrad does a great, great, great job. I love Conrad. I, I will always put Conrad over. <clears throat> Jeff, the people that do the shows with Conrad, you know, Jeff, Eric, JR, Bruce, bro, they show up one time to do the show, okay? 
Conrad's taking care of everything. And at the end of the day, Jeff, Conrad's doing all these shows. It, it, it's Conrad's network. These wrestlers just show up and do a show once a week with him. Bro, I do more shows every single week than anybody out there. Anybody out there. Maybe with the exception of Ben Hameen Media Group, who is, who, who is under our umbrella. They're under our umbrella. There is nobody out there close doing the amount of shows that we do and Ben Hameen Media Group do. Okay. Channelattitude.com. Channelattitude.com. Nobody, nobody has the bro. I have I pay people. I, I I pay wrestlers. Everybody gets paid. Everybody gets on payroll. It's a business. We put all our time and effort into this all week long, bro. We don't show up for one day. Every single day, bro, I am doing on Russo's brand and Patreon three, four shows a day. I am sick right now. There is no sick. There's no sick. I am sick. I'm chucking down Gatorade to get through this show. My point is, bro, this is how we make a living. We, we, we bust our ass. We do all these shows. We bring you all these different points of views, and we entertain you. Okay, bro? That is how we all make a living, including Steve, Stevie Ray, who's on there, Disco Inferno, Al Snow, EC3. I can go up and down the list of people that are getting paid by this. And we're getting paid by people who subscribe because they're entertained. Jeff, are we making people subscribe? Like I I I, no, I, I don't I don't I don't understand what he's trying to say. Everybody does this because it's a business to make money. We nobody would be doing this if they didn't make money and pay their bills. So they do their way to make money. We do it our way to make money. But there's one thing in common: we both have shows that are hidden behind paywalls. Right. I mean that the, the, their shows are no different. I, I don't understand why that's a criticism. Is what I'm saying. Everything he's saying. He is just supporting my my case. Everything he's saying. We, we start off with, do we really want to give the guy who I called in the middle of the night when, when my wife passed away and he was by my side in five minutes, do we really want to give him the rub? And, and then the next sentence is, he's, he's going to take a shot at my livelihood. Bro, th th this is a typical wrestler. This is what I'm trying to explain to you why he was never a friend. Go ahead, Jeff. Okay, so here's the next clip. And again, if you're just joining us, the link to the entire My World with Jeff Jarrett video from their channel is in the description if you want to see the full thing. I, I, I'll say this. Vince, I'll say it to you. <laughs> it, it is something that I have shared with you from time to time, but after a while, folks that don't listen, I suggested to him years ago and I'll suggest it now. I would love to know his thoughts after he took a look at the man in the mirror and let him say, Hmm, what was my role in all of these instances that I supposedly worked him? What is Vince's role? What, what, what did he do good or what did he do bad? But I'll throw this back at you, uh, uh, Conrad, and I would love to get your response on this. So he says that I worked him in, in this relationship. Do you think there was ever a time that Vince, he's a writer, he's proud right. to say he's a writer, that he wrote a segment and wrote that segment out, and when I walked through the curtain after it, he regretted it? Do, do, do you think that I ever didn't deliver for him? No. He, 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 I mean, maybe I did here and there. Oh, hold on for a second. And okay, that, Jeff, you, 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 uh, Travis Berg with a $4 donation, bro. Thank you very much. Yeah, guys, please feel free. If you are, guys, if you are entertained by this, 
feel free to make a donation or drop a super sticker or cheer some bits on. If you are into, I'm not going to make you guys. I'm not going to make you. Okay. Can I address that? Well, yeah, I, course, I don't, I don't plan. know. I, okay. You asked me the question, Jeff. I don't know what that has to do with working me as being my friend. I, I don't understand, but no, bro, n- never one single time. Did you disappoint me with 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 a performance off of something I wrote? Ne- never one time. Jeff, does that answer your question? Conrad, does that answer his question? Never one time. I will be the first one to sit here and say Jeff delivered 100% of the time. What that has to do with me thinking he worked me to believe he was a real friend, I, 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 I'm I missing the connection. But whatever. No, Jeff, 100, you are 100% correct, bro. I You delivered every single time. Again, but I don't know what how that's relevant to what we're talking about. All right, here is the next clip. I'm sure he's going to take this, and Conrad, I'm pissed off you're even giving him the, giving him the spotlight, but it it is and look i've screwed up so many times in my life and i own all of my screw ups but vince is a guy who it's always self pity it's always woe is me it's always look what this guy did this guy worked me this guy did oh, that stop stop i'm the stop you know obviously now now he's talking out his ass because any anybody that can listen to the the entire show well, that's and the Patreon. thing is this is all, that's why I think this is all based on that thirty second. Yeah, clip. whatever. A- any anybody that can listen can listen to the entire show on Patreon. Um, bro, I am putting the heat on myself, and 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 bro, it's it's very similar to me me believing Vince McMahon cared about me. You know, I mean, bro, when 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 you establish relationships that you think are close, Jeff, okay? And, and, and again, Stevie will vouch for this. <clears throat> when, when you establish relationships in wrestling, bro, that you think are close because of how you feel about the individual. I felt very strongly about Vince McMahon and the McMahon family. I felt very strongly about Jeff Jarrett. Well, Jeff, when you're in wrestling, Now you start asking yourself the question because everybody's working everybody, bro. Now you start asking yourself the question, do they really care about me as much as I do them? Okay? You start asking the question. So there there is no pity. There, There is no me being the victim. What this is about is I am more pissed off at myself because I I truly wanted to believe there was a brotherhood there. I I loved Jeff, man. I'm not ashamed to say that. I loved Jeff. I loved his wife. I loved his kids. I spent a lot of time with them. This, what, 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 I don't, bro. I'm going to be 62. My my balls hit the the ice water last night. You think I I care about somebody's pity? I want want somebody's pity because Jeff Jarrett really wasn't my friend. Bro, this this is such a – I don't even understand, bro, what point he's trying to make. I'll be honest with you. I I don't understand it at all. I, 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 my whole point was I should have known better and I didn't. So I learned the hard way. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, yeah. And again, you know, that's why I, I think it's based on that 30 second clip. That's all they heard. If you guys want to hear the full show, you can at patreon.com slash Russo TWC, all the versus Vince series are up there. Um, but like I said, also listen to their full show to get the full, the full but, context. But, but, bro, I'm, just, listen, I'm just playing God, a few clips hey. here. Bro, listen, I know Conrad's in here. Bro, I get a lot of great information. Hey, listen, Eric Bischoff and I never got along, 
okay? I will always read excerpts from Conrad's show with Eric and always learn something. You know, Conrad's a great interview, bro. I, I'm, I'm plugging, Con go listen to Jeff's show, bro. Conrad puts out a good product there. And I, I don't know how Conrad monetizes his shows, but he certainly should be making money with, with the product he's putting out there, bro. This ain't Dave Meltzer bullshit. <laughs> you know, Conrad, Conrad talks to movers and shakers in the business on a weekly basis. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, again, and the link to their full video that they had on their YouTube is in the description for this video. So let's continue. Always look what this guy did. This guy worked me. This guy did that. I'm the smartest man in professional wrestling. Here's the cold, hard truth. When WCW closed down, who's the only person that has given him a full-time job in the last 20 years? Jeff Jarrett. Mic drop. Well, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. We, 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 we got to be honest here. Jeff, since I left WCW, how many wrestling companies have there been to have offered me full-time jobs? I, I mean, let, let's be honest, bro. This, this isn't like I work for a, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a computer company and, and there are 20 companies that can offer me a job. L let's freaking be honest, bro. What, what, how many wrestling companies, what, I, the only one is really AEW. That, that really is the only wrestling company other than TNA that could have offered me a full-time position with enough money for me to take. You know, I mean, like, you know, listen, I, lo I love Billy Corgan. I, I don't think Billy Corgan would, would you know, first of all, Billy Corgan's the booker. And Billy Corgan wants to book NWA, and that's fine. But I don't think Billy Corgan could offer me enough money to go work for NWA full time. So I don't think Impact Wrestling could pay me enough money to go work for them the full time. So, so who are we talking about? I I, I, I don't well, understand. I mean, and you you I, had I, a consulting job that yeah, you left I, to go I, there, right? I want to make one thing perfectly clear, bro. And and again, Jeff. Yeah, Matt Yodel, bro. Good, good. Matt Yodel offered me a job or gave me peanuts. I felt sorry for the guy. And I know Matt's listening. I love Matt Yodel. Rocky Mountain Pro, everybody, check it out. Jeff, I was consulting for the WWE when Jeff was starting up TNA. Okay? Jeff asked me, to he, he wanted me to work for him. He wanted me to write for him. He asked me to go to the show. Okay. And, and this was after the whole, you went in, you were hired back by Vince. You did the whole pitch meeting. They buried you behind your back. Yes. This isn't yes. going to work out type yes. of thing. But yes. that, what a lot of people don't know is, you still stayed on as an outside consultant. consultant. You weren't yes. You weren't working for WWE writing team. You were going to consult to Stephanie and Vince. And I was already doing own. that. I was already yeah. doing that, bro. I, ha I was having conversations with Heyman. I was having conversations with Gerwurz. I was already doing that. So he, he wanted me to write for TNA. So I went to, I, I didn't go to, go to her. I called her, Stephanie, I want you to know, I don't want you reading it on dirt sheets. I, I'm telling you, I am going to check out TNA, see what they have to offer, because I don't know if I'm ready to just be a consultant. You know, I, 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 I really would be more interested in still doing something, you know, on a full-time basis, Okay. So Stephanie said, fine, Vince. All right, you go. I went to, I went to the TNA show, Je uh, bro. I checked it out, got together with Jeff. Jeff made me an offer, uh, Jeff. It was less than what I was getting paid by the WWE. Less. But at the end of the day, I wanted to help my friend out with his new 
business. At the end of the day, bro, I took less money to go help Jeff out with his new business. And I came back and I called Stephanie again. Stephanie, thank you. I'm going to pass on the consultant. I'm going to go work for TNA full time. That's when I went to go work for TNA. So if, 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 if he wants to spin, who's the only one who gave him a full-time job? I had a job, bro. I had a job as a consultant. And what Vince's plan really was, bro, was, bro, Vince brought me back into the WWE without telling anybody. He did it the wrong way. So now Vince's idea was, bro, let me pay him as a consultant will ease him in that way. And I think eventually I would have been right back to what he hired me for. But I left all that on the table to go help my buddy Jeff. Larry H., $5. Is Conrad is so effing nice. Why would he let JJ run with it without the proper context? Because, bro, uh, Conrad's going to let Double J speak his mind. I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that at all. You know, Larry, you know, I mean, you know, Conrad's going to let him say what he thinks and what he feels, man. Well, and like I said, I didn't play the whole video, but Conrad specifically states he doesn't know your guy's relationship. He wasn't there, so he wouldn't have the context himself. It's Jeff Jarrett's podcast. He lets him tell the story. So I, I don't think um, he did, Conrad, did no. anything wrong. No, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't think so at all. Um. I saw the My World Twitter account put out a tweet insinuating that you were fired by yeah. WWE right. to go to TNA. What, so what is that about? That's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, I, I, I have no – listen, man, I'm, I'm not going to say anybody's lying, Jeff. I, 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 I hate calling anybody a liar. I'm just going to say, you know, over the years, people forget. They, they just forget. I, for the record – and anybody can do their research and check this out. I have never, ever been fired from a job in professional wrestling. Never, ever been fired. from f Starting from whenever I was hired from the WWE 1994 or 95 till when I, when I left TNA in 2012. So I, I have no idea what that was about. All right, here's the last clip. It's a couple minutes long, so stop me at any point. Many years ago, and I got emails. I have, look, I know, I, I can't say that he forgave me or didn't. I know that I've forgiven him. I, I know exactly. Pause it, pause it, Jeff. Don't tread on me $10, bro. Wait, gotta give him some applause, bro. If you were writing for WWE, would you be able to do in today's world as opposed to, would you be able to do it? Yeah, bro. If, if I was able to do it my way, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. But the way the system is now, don't trend on me. The way the system is set up, I would have no chance in hell of being able to do things the way I think they should be done. Go ahead, Jeff. I, I wonder if he means by in today's world that people are more sensitive to things than yes. they were. Yes. You know? Yes. yes. All right. Continuing on. I know exactly when fundamentally our relationship changed forever. When Janice Carter looked me in the eye, Dixie's three seats down, Dean's four seats down, Andy Barton's here, um, John Gaborik's in the room. And we have these board meetings and this is 2013 a lot of dust had settled um uh, lots of dust had settled uh as far as hogan and bischoff and the financial death spiral was in full effect and we're kind of having a rally the troops meeting we get toward the very end of the meeting and it was a positive meeting and, and we got toward the end of it and janice said oh before we go hey before we go Hey, Jeff, I got to ask you a question. What did, what do you think, what do you think, and she's looking and you could hear a pin drop in the room. How do you think Vince is going to do this time around? And I go, excuse me, Janice. 
She said, how do you think Vince Russo is going to help us this go around? I said, Janice, I'll just be honest with you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't even know. I didn't even, I don't even know that he's back. Meeting was immediately over. Dixie couldn't run out of that room. Hold on, Jeff. Hold on. Double X mega chronic double X. Have you ever talked to Jim Cornette since Brawl for All? Come on, bro. Absolutely not. Thank you for the um, donation. Yeah, well, you would have until you left the company because. Until oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did, bro. We worked together at TNA. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jeff. We worked together at TNA. Go ahead, bro. He's back. Meeting was immediately over. Dixie could run out of that room fast enough. Okay, stop so, right there. Stop, stop right there. What, what 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 do I have to do with what happened in that meeting? Dick Dixie couldn't run out fast enough. Janice Carter didn't say work. What 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 what, what does that have to do with me, bro? What 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 is Dixie run? But but bro, he's gonna make my point again. Hold on, Jeff. Don't say nothing. Well, I think he's just pick giving the picture okay. of the meeting. In I understand I that, that, but he's going he's going to make my point again by saying Dixie couldn't run out of the room fast enough. He's gonna make my point. Once again, hold on, Jeff. We got another. You guys, are, you guys are awesome, man. Thank you very much. Alchemist Bear. Hey, Mr. Venom, it's been a long time, but I'm back. Love you always, Vin. Jeff, you rock too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. All right, go ahead, Jeff. Thank you, Alchemist. Unless he was talking about Jared. Room fast enough. So, after all the water under the bridge, look, and, and I get it. He's got to feed his family. He's got to get a paycheck. I totally understand that. I really, really do. I did. I understood it then. I understand it now. But at the end of the day, I get it. All those years, Dutch, my dad, I could tell you a, a number of folks that would just say, Jeff, you're, you're kind of not seeing the reality of the situation. I said, okay, point taken. It sunk in. It's clear at that point. He had been in conversation with everyone in TNA, but you, he was back on the payroll and you didn't know full bore. And, and the executive committee, we were, I came, we came to that meeting. Now you got to remember end of 2009, they kicked me as far out as they possibly could. And I think if it wouldn't have been for Bob Carter, I'd have gone all the way out, but the company was making six, 8 million a year. Now, here we are, 2010, 2011, 2012. Now we're into 2013, and it was red ink. And so, you know, there was a, there was a time of framing how we pull the nose up. And Vince's history since 2002 with the company, and Dixie didn't know. Look, no need to go into all that, but they hired this guy, and it was – on the payroll and he's coming back and and here's all this. And I was left in the dark. It told me everything I needed to know. What's well, so hold on for a second. That, that, what, that. What, 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 stop for a second. You, you, you see the contradiction, bro. You see the contradiction. He first said he's got a family. He's got to support, you know, he needed a job. I understand it. No, I get it. Conrad, trust me. I understand that he, he has a family. He's got to support. Five minutes later, oh well, that to- that that told me everything I need to know, bro. It, it, it's two different things, Jeff. You 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 first understand that. Okay, first of all, Jeff, let me make one thing clear. I was not hired by the company. I was a consultant. They 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 brought me on as a consultant. I was not an employee of the company. Let me make that perfectly clear. Now, when Jeff talks about, I get it, bro. He's got a family. D- do you get it, Jeff? Because at the time, Jeff, I was running my own business. I was in the process of shutting the doors. Okay, so I had to go on to my next thing. Okay. Dixie Carter reaches out to me. And bro, wh- wh- why are you reaching out to me unless you need me? 
I, I mean, I mean, right, right or wrong, Jeff, why, why are you reaching out unless you need me? So I'm about to close shop. I need to find another form of financial support. Dixie Carter reaches out. Vince, we'd like to bring you on as a consultant. Not, you know, when, when he says on payroll, he's making it sound like I was hired full-time gig, 401k, a medical, this, that. No, bro, it was a consultant. And Jeff Dixie's words to me were exactly this. Vince, if you tell anyone about this or anyone finds out about this the gig is up i said dixie to be quite honest with you i think that is a bit ridiculous i don't know why it has to be a secret i don't like the idea that you want to make it a secret but it's your company. So if you want to hire me as a consultant and you don't want me to tell anybody, then Dixie, you have my word. I will not talk to anybody about this. I, 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 that's how it went down, guys. So no, I did not tell Jeff Jarrett. I did not tell Jeremy Borash. I did not tell all my friends that were still working at TNA, you know, Irish Pat, Terry Taylor. I told nobody because that's what Dixie asked me to do. So Jeff, in one aspect, understands that. But five minutes later, oh, I, I, I could see it clearly. What, what, what can you see clearly, Jeff? I, I was somehow, some way trying. Hold on, Jeff. Where, where, where'd Jeff go? Jeff. Oh, hold on, everybody. I don't know where Jeff went. Jeff. I'm going to go through some of these super stickers and I'll continue. I, don't, I have no idea. Jeff, his computer might have went down. Um, let me see. Bro, what are you doing, man? Is this your first show? I didn't do it. The internet's that we're getting storms and the internet went out. So it may okay. go out again. All right. So did you get the two super chats? We got uh, two yeah, people. Bo yeah, Bobby Means, bro. What do you think about the whole Sasha Banks situation? What do you think she should do? I think Sasha Banks, if Sasha Banks is really the boss, then she needs to be her own boss. She doesn't need Sasha. You don't need the WWE. You are a talented young lady. You can make it on your own. All right, here's another one, Jeff. Who's this? Uh, don't tread on me. I've been watching wrestling since I can remember pretty much 75, and there's not too many people have come along to wrestling as such yourself. Well, actually, th thank you. Now, so, now, now, Jeff, I, I want to be honest with people, okay? No doubt, Jeff, at that point in my life, I needed a revenue stream, okay? So even if I did not agree with the way Dixie wanted to go about this, I did need a revenue stream to support my family. So basically, Dixie, I don't agree with you. It's your company. That's the way it'll be. Now, Jeff, if that happened today, say Tony Khan called me today. Book, booker of the year, almost three-time booker of the year. And say Tony Khan said to me, Vince, I want you to can, can, can come consult for AEW, but we can't let any of the marks know because they'll crucify me. So we, we got to keep this a secret. You know what I would tell? You know what I would tell Tony today, Jeff? I would tell him no. You know Why? Because I don't need the money today. I, 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 I have other forms of income. So I would be in a position to say, Tony, I think that's stupid. I think that's silly. 
And under 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 that guys, I'm not going to take the spot. Okay? Jeff, I didn't have the luxury of telling Dixie that at the time because I needed income. But I I, I don't understand. If, if the shoe were on the other foot and Jeff were Dixie and Jeff told me, Vince, I'm going to hire you as a consultant, but you can't let anybody know. You can't even let Dixie know. You can't let anybody know. And I said, okay, Jeff. How would Jeff have felt if I told Dixie? <laughs> How would Jeff have felt if I said, hey, Jeff, listen, I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but she, her, the boss specifically said part of the agreement is you tell no one. And I said, okay, Dixie, I don't agree. If that's the way you want it, that's the way it will be. Now, I, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make one other point here, because uh, now, now somebody's lying. N now somebody's lying, and I'll tell you why, Jeff. You and I go to this convention how many years ago? Six. Six. Six and a half. Jeff and Karen are at the convention, right? And I still love Karen. I'm assuming all along <clears throat> Jeff has heat with me and stopped talking to me because of this. Be because Dixie said, don't tell anybody. So I didn't tell anybody. That's business, bro. That's not personal. That's business. Karen came up to me at that convention, came up to me and told me, Vince, Jeff isn't hot at you because he found out that, you know, you were consulting. That's not why he's mad at you. He's mad at you because Dixie told him that you said some derogatory things about him. So in other words, Dixie told Jeff that I was talking about him behind his back. That's why Karen said Jeff was hot at me. So w w one of the two are lying here. I either Karen was lying. I don't know why, why Karen would tell me that if it wasn't the truth, or now Jeff is using that as an excuse. But I will tell you, bro, as a guy that's been a boss for many, many, many times, I am not going to apologize for granting the wishes of the person paying me. I am not going to apologize, bro. That's that's business. Vince, you can have the job under these circumstances. Okay, I'm not going to apologize for that, bro. That me not telling him had nothing to do with our friendship. It was business. That's the way she wanted it. So if, 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 if that's his reason for not speaking to me, fine, bro, then I guess we'll never talk. Because what I don't understand is you just finished saying, I understand the guy's got to support his family. I understand the guy's got to, you know, put food. Well, obviously you don't. Obviously you don't understand any of that. If you're having an issue with me not telling you what she told me not to tell anybody. Go ahead, Jeff. I think that that needed to know and that 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 th th this nothing has changed. Yeah, that was the end. So I was going to ask you this based on that. Again, this is my assumption. I feel like it hurt him that you didn't tell him. I don't know if that's true. That's just my opinion after so many years and, and having similar experiences with friends. I'm sure a lot of people have that, that they get hurt if you don't tell them something or you don't trust them with information. That's my opinion. Anyway, do, do you think that's the case that he was legitimately hurt as a friend that you wouldn't confide that in him?
Well, bro, bro, l- 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 let's put it this way, Jeff. Uh, Jeff. When he's sitting in that meeting and, Jan- and, and Janice spills the beans, okay, he doesn't know at that point Dix- Dixie gave me those orders. Y- you see what I'm saying? I mean, he- he's thinking at that point – D- D- Dixie has hired Vince Russo, okay? And he and he didn't tell me. Th- that's what he's thinking at that point. So without a shadow of a doubt, Jeff, if that's me, I'm like, Vince, are you freaking kidding me? Like y- you're working for this company and you didn't even tell me? Are you kidding me? Y- you're you're stabbing me in the back. You're screwing me. I understand that, Jeff. But then when I explained that was one of her requirements to me, now the heat's on Dixie because Vince is just doing what the boss is telling him to do. Bro, bro, it goes back to Brad Siegel. After Bash at the Beach, Bro, I was supposed to call Hulk Hogan back. I gave Hulk Hogan my word to call him back. I meet with Brad Siegel and Vince says, okay, bro, what what, what did you and Hulk discuss? And I said, Brad, I told Hulk I would call him as soon as we got back from TV. Brad Siegel says to me, Vince, You cannot call Hulk Hogan because I cannot afford to put him on TV. So Brad Siegel is the boss, even though I gave Hulk Hogan my word that I'd call him. The boss now says to me, no, you can't call him. Bro, I got sued over that. I got sued by Hulk over that because he thought I screwed him. No, bro, I didn't screw you. I had every intention of telling you the freaking boss told me I couldn't call you. So so the, the minute he finds out, wait a minute, Dixie, you you actually told Vince that he had to keep it a secret and he couldn't even let me know? That's where the heat should have went, bro. Once he found out, of, of course, off the bat, bro, if he thinks I'm I'm keeping it a secret, he's going to be hurt and he's going to be upset. But the second he found out that that was Dixie's rule, the heat shouldn't have went to me. It should have went to her, bro. But can you understand where... Uh, would you have been upset if the roles were reversed that he didn't trust you enough as a friend to tell you this, even though he shouldn't, wasn't supposed to tell anybody because I know you've told things I have probably everybody listening has somebody tells you something you can't tell anybody, but you still tell no, somebody. Jeff, you th- trust. Jeff, like, Jeff, Jeff, this isn't when money is on a line and you're supporting your family. And what, what, m- money is m- my only income is on the line with without this income i don't have a way to support my family so you you can't you 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 can't make the comparison with hey bro don't tell nobody and then you tell somebody the the, the well job, i'm trying to look at it from his perspective it's possible he he was thinking that okay bro i understand all that but you ask me how i would react I would have reacted the same exact way until I found out the boss was the one that told him to keep it a secret or else there was no consulting role. At that point, now my point of view would have changed. Now I would have confronted Dixie and I would have said, wait a minute, Dixie. You told Vince that he couldn't tell anybody, and and if he did, the gig was up. Why why couldn't I know? 
Why couldn't you tell me? That's who, who my heat is with. I don't, Jeff, I am not going to apologize for respecting the rules of the person paying me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize for that to this day. You can ask any, anybody here in, in, the, in the freaking chat room. Bro, if somebody's going to give you a job and they say, okay, bro, you have the job, but the, these are the guidelines. You're going to abide by the guidelines. I, I, I don't know of anybody that, that wouldn't abide by those guidelines. Well, I know, I don't know, Jeff Jarrett, but I know two people that know him very well, you and Rudy. And Rudy speaks very highly for Bro, Jeff. Rudy uh, Charles. Hold on, Rudy let Charles. Me, hold on. Well, let, let me set the stage about this Rudy Charles. This is a man who was gloating about giving up chocolate for Lent. And every day we're going to Starbucks and, and he's ordering the mocha coffee. Yes, and sir. while he's drinking the mocha, he's gloating about giving up chocolate for Lent. And I had to look this man, Rudy Charles, in the eye, and I had to say, Rudy, you do know mocha is chocolate, right, Rudy? What? No, Rudy, mocha is chocolate. Ru okay, so I just wanted to preference yes. who we're talking about. Jeff, yes. bro, listen. Well, let me finish, though. Let me ahead, finish, right, because yes, you don't know where I'm going with this. I, so gotta, I, I don't want to miss some of these donations. You want to say this first? Well, no. If you got a donation, pop it up. Okay, yeah, we got a bunch I of thought you, Hold on. Yeah, pop those up first, and then, then I'll get to my question. Uh, okay, that's Sasha Banks. We did that one. Um, oh, here we go. I think we did this one too, right? We did Don't Trend Me. Yeah, I think you need to do wrestling, a wrestling Instagram, a wrestling historian. That's the one you have not read yet. Here we go. Uh, Instagram, a wrestling historian. Five dollars. Thank you, my friend. How long would you have consulted for TNA if it hadn't been for the accidental email to Mike? Thank you. Um. Wow. I I I I I don't think too long. Instagram. I, I don't think too long because I I I. I wasn't a big fan of John Gaborik, um, and, and I was working directly with him. So I, I, I really don't think too long, bro. Honestly, bro. All right, let's go. Hold on, John. I think there was something else. No? I think that was it. I think that was the last one. I get finish your thought. So Rudy worked very closely with Jeff at TNA, speaks very highly of him. You were friends with Jeff. For a long time. And I don't think you would have been friends with somebody that long if they were a bad person. So based on just you and Rudy, I think at heart, Jeff Jarrett is probably a good person. And I think whatever is going on here is not it is because you guys were so close. That's why he got so mad. That's why you're so upset that he got mad and didn't understand your side. So. Do you, you know, still think Jeff Jarrett's a good person? And can I, I just hate when longtime friends end their friendship over a dis one disagreement, a misunderstanding that doesn't personally affect their lives or hurt for, their friend. Like, okay. like I, I would like to see you guys just be friends. Okay, uh, for, you know, see, like Jeff. Here's the problem, though. I, I'm very confused. Because I'm not getting the truth. Because when, when Karen came up to me, I said to her, Karen, I don't know why he's hot at me. Dixie hired me with the orders of not telling anybody. I needed the job. I don't know what he expected me to do. That was Dixie's rule. And that's when she said to me, oh, no, he's not mad at you because of that. So so, so, so the truth really is, Jeff, I really don't know. I don't know what it is. 
I, I don't know. It. Why would Karen tell me that's not what it is? And now he's saying this is what it is. And 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 I will say this, bro. Mm. Bro, he's a he, he's a third generation wrestler, bro. He's a third generation wrestler. This is the wrestling business. You know what it really comes down to, Jeff, from those from that perspective? If Jeff is thinking as a wrestler, because that's how Jeff thinks, okay? It, it's in his blood since before he was born. He's thinking I worked him and I got over on him. That is what he's thinking. And that is probably what he's upset about. You know, bro, you don't, the old saying is, you don't work a worker. So rather than, well, yeah, bro, exactly what I said at the beginning. I get that. I get that he needed a job. I get that he that he had to support. It. No, Well, obviously you don't. Because for all those reasons is why I honored her word. So if you truly understood that, then what's the issue? You, you're saying you got it. You get that. I understand. Then what's the issue? The issue is he thinks I worked him. Because wrestlers are always working wrestlers, bro, to gain an advantage. And in his mind to this day, that's what he still believes, bro. And Jeff, th th there's something else you have to understand. There's something else you have to understand. Part of the reason that I was even having the conversation with Dixie about this consulting is at that time, Bruce Pritchard was gone. John Gaborik sent home uh, uh, Eric Bischoff. And I was under the understanding that Je I, I, I don't know if Gaborik had sent Jeff home, but John Gaborik made some decision on Jeff's future because I remember, I remember, Oh my God, bro. Like all three of these guys are no longer there. I remember thinking that. So bro, when Dixie is having this conversation with me, I don't know Jeff's role in the company. I I have no idea what Jeff bro Jeff, Jeff, Jeff was in the company out of the company and then and then when he makes the comment oh bro I only still had a job because of Bob Carter bullshit bro he, Conrad who's listening to this show Conrad can even ask Eric Bischoff bro Eric and Jeff hated each other hated each other bro and I was always the one trying to somehow some way keep these guys on the same page i was always fighting for jeff to the freaking very end bro but like i said bro how do i know i, I hadn't been with the company i mean i i left in in, in january 2012 so so when what when was this jeff when was which part the consulting part He's he, according to Jeff, it was 2013. 2013, that, 23, yeah. bro. We're talking about a whole year later. I have no idea what the makeup of the company is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what Jeff Jarrett's role is. I have no idea. I haven't been there in a year. So don't tell anybody. I don't tell anybody. That's it. Do you wish you were still friends with him? No, no, I, 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 because it's, bro, there really is a big part of me that feels once I was no longer in a position to help him, I I, I really fell down that friend chart. There, 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 there's no doubt about that in my mind, bro. No doubt about that. Bro, when, 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 when I could still 
speak to the discos on a weekly basis and the Stevie Richards and all these guys, bro. Yesterday I heard from Nick Aldis, you know, bro, Ke- Ke- Kevin Nash's kid passes away. I'm, I'm immediately in touch with, you know, Kevin Nash. These are real relationships. These are real relationships, bro. From 2012, when I left W, when I left TNA to 2013, did I hear from Jeff Jarrett? No. Well, see, that's what I was wondering because he made it sound like there was something else there before this incident because he said I had, I thought he forgave me and I had forgiven him. And then this meeting happened. So he made it sound like there was some other incident, unless I was completely misunderstanding what he said there. But I don't know. I don't know. I just, knowing you, I don't see you being friends with somebody that long if it really wasn't a real friendship. You're you're like you wouldn't be fooled like that for that long. I, I don't yeah, believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because bro, we were always working together, and we were always working together in different companies. We we did a lot of work together, Jeff. Jeff, and like I said, bro, bro, what's the what's the definition of nepotism? This guy's calling me a nepotist. I, I would like to know what that means. What, what, what does that mean? Nepotism. Like you would hire your family. Like the the McMahons, like Stephanie got the job because of nepotism. Uh, yeah, you know, Joe Hagashishi, I, I have no idea what the frig you're talking about. Bottom Maybe he's low, saying you, you don't like it. I don't know. I don't know what he's talking. I don't care. Bro. I don't think he's insulting you. Okay, I hope not. I'm sorry if you're not insulting me, Joe Hagashishi. <laughs> hey, but uh, he Jeff, meant it if you are. Jeff, from 2012 when I left to up until the point Jeff's talking about, there was not one phone call from Jeff Jarrett. What 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 does that tell you? So, if you guys were to have a private, if he wanted to have a private conversation with you and just air all this out and say, "Look, we're too old for this. We had a great friendship for so many years. Let's just squash this." And we both were wrong. Whatever it was, would you take that phone call? Yeah. I, I I absolutely will, but he doesn't care because I was never a friend. That is well, my. That's what point. I'm asking. I don't. I, you know, I don't know him. But I, if that well, were to happen, that, you know, of course I would. I, I without a shadow of a doubt, Conrad. Conrad, you want to text me today? Without a, I have nothing to hide. I am not going to apologize. With okay, Vince, you need a job. I got a job for you. But these are the rules you got to follow. I'm not going to apologize for that. The heat's on Dixie. He, he, he's got heat with the wrong person. The heat is on her. She was the one that put me in the position. And like I said, bro, I didn't even know what his standing was with the company at the time. I wasn't there for a year. So, yes, bro, I will talk to Anybody, anytime. There, there is no one in this freaking business more transparent than me. Nobody. Nobody, bro. So put your money where your mouth is, bro. You, 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 you were a real friend? Then fine, bro. Let, 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 let's have a face-to-face. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I'm not going to apologize for uh, o- obeying a boss's orders. That 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 that's that's professional, bro. That's not personal. That's professional. Appreciate you guys joining us live. If you enjoyed this stream, please Wait, hold hit on. that Dan- like for Dan- us. It helps us. Hold on, Daniel's got a uh, Russo. The guy, the Joe guy, was saying that Jared gets Boston Company so many times because of who his dad was. Always doing favors for the boys. Some of it. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. I- I'm sorry, uh, Joe. I don't think that's fair for it's not everybody. I don't Jeff think Jarrett was very entertaining. Yeah, Jeff Jarrett busted his ass. He earned everything he got. It had nothing to do with, you know, who his dad was. Uh, Jeff Jarrett was probably the most. I'm not going to say one of the most, probably the most dependable worker 
I ever worked with in my life, which was one of the big reasons why I put the belt on him, because I needed somebody I could depend on. So nobody worked harder than Jeff. Jeff never phoned it in. Um, no, nah, he Jeff, Jeff Jeff was a great uh, Jeff was a great performer. I, I mean, I, th- that that that's not what this is about, bro. X Mega, yeah. have you ever thought about working for AEW? Absolutely not, uh, X Mega. Thanks for asking, but I have no interest. What were you going to say now, there, Jeff? Towards the end, uh, I don't I don't remember. Just appreciate you guys. If you want to check out more of our stuff. Russo'sBrand.com takes you to every one of our shows, every one of those people in the top upper right of the screen, Goldilocks, EC3, Taylor Hendricks, Just Incredible, Stevie Ray, Al Snow, Stevie Richards, Ben Hameen, John Paz, and of course, Disco Inferno. Check out all their stuff, Russo'sBrand.com. We got video and audio, so if you prefer to listen on the go in RSS feeds, you can check out all of our stuff there. Yeah, and also, I, I just want to say, guys, you know, because Disco was talking about this on one of my shows. Bro, he, he, here's the difference between our shows and our platform and 95% of the others. Bro, we got no skin in the game, man. I, I'm, I'm not working for any of these companies, so I don't have to be politically correct. I don't have to walk a tightrope. and. I don't want to be working for any of these companies. I'm not trying to get a job. I am not trying to stay in anybody's good graces, bro. Thank God to to people like you that get it and understand the brand. We are able to make a living, bro. So you know who I work for? I work for for you and that is why you're always going to get shows like this on russosbrand.com patreon.com forward slash russo twc there is no hidden agenda you're you're the hidden agenda you pay for a subscription then bro you're going to get the truth travis and uh no j-dub i'm not toasted i will pass a piss test right now Oh, my God. They think I'm high. <laughs> Trav, F-D-Y. I know Trav. Trav's a good guy, bro. Someone off at Double J, 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 O, B, J, O, B, Jared, a job and told him not to tell anybody. He wouldn't say anything. I agree with that, Travis. I, I, I 1,000% agree with that. It's biz. That's business. Biz, business and personal are two completely different things. If Vince was told not to say anything by the boss, then Vince granted the wishes of the boss. If you've got a problem with somebody, it should be with the person issuing, issuing the rule of don't tell anybody. If, if, I, if, if, if I'm Jeff, I'm, I'm, I'm asking Dixie, what were you trying to keep it from me? Why, why the big secret, Dixie? That, that's what I want to know. You're going to blame the guy that's, who, whose income depends on keeping his mouth shut? Okay. If, if, if that makes sense to you, I get it. Oh, wow, bro. Moses, man. Walk on water, Moses. $10. <laughs> Vince, I love your work. I'm from Australia to land down under, bro. You're the best wrestling writer I ever had. The proof is in the pudding, bro. I recently watched the video where you summed it up. No realistic storylines. Moses, thank you very, 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 very much. All right, Jeff. I am out of gas. My throat is freaking killing me. I ran out of Gatorade an hour ago. So let's wrap this thing up, Jeff. Go ahead. Yeah, Russo'sBrand.com, guys. Check everything out. We got a lot more videos also on this YouTube channel. Check out all of our shows with everybody in the top corner. Everything you need, you can get to by going to Russo'sBrand.com. Take care, everybody. Have great, great, great holiday, man. Spend time with family, friends, bro. Put your worries away, man, for another day. Take care, everybody.